Here we go. Brittany writes in. I'm only going to do one email today because we only have time for this one. This is very important. I think there's a lot of Brittany's right now that are listening. She says, Ken, I, I know to follow my dreams and I want to follow my dreams. And I know and understand the proximity principle. One of my dreams is a librarian, maybe as a podcaster, blogger, writer. But there are several impediments to my doing that. The main one is I'm having issues with my time. I'm a mom of two young kiddos, four and one, a full-time web developer with a 45-minute commute. I don't have time to go find friends who are librarians or podcasters or bloggers or let alone hang out with them and follow them around, learn how to be with them. It's really killing my hope of ever living the dream. What do I do? How do I change my perspective about this? Now, I love this question. Brittany, listen to me. You don't necessarily have to have coffee or have lunch. Okay, so let's just talk about the squeeze on your time, which I get it. All right. I understand what it's like to have young kiddos. My wife been there. My wife now we have three kids, 13, 11, 10. My wife's full time. I'm full time. I I get it. But let me tell you what you're missing. You're missing these stolen moments for you to learn. You can get in proximity to podcasters. Go on their YouTube channels. Watch what they're doing. You could watch one YouTube video a night. You could watch one in the morning. You need to be listening to the top podcasters and interviews of your favorite bloggers on podcasts. Because believe me, the successful bloggers are probably on a podcast, if not their own. You can listen to them on that 45-minute commute. That's time for you to learn. And let me throw another one at you. Guess what else you can do in that 45-minute commute? Hop on the phone. Can't have coffee with somebody. Hey, can I call you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock? I'll be in the car until 8.25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a call. You can connect without sitting down over coffee or over a meal. So I'm not getting on you, but I want to just shake you a little bit and go, your perspective, and I'm glad you put it that way. How do I change my perspective? You're not seeing all the opportunities for you to get in proximity that have nothing to do with you leaving your house. The law of the zip code is something I've shared on the show. I actually write about it in the new book, The Proximity Principle. The place where you are, that's the first place. There's five people in five places. The place where you are is one of the places I write about. The law of the zip code is unveiled in that chapter, and it says that everything I need to get started is already around me. This is the case with you. I know you don't have a lot of time, but around me is as simple as getting on the Internet. If your laptop is three feet away from you at any given time in the house, that's how far away you are from some of the answers, some of the tips, some of the the tools that you need to get started. And by the way, I'm going to challenge you to start your podcast this weekend. I'm going to give you a couple days. Get a basic mic at Best Buy or someplace like that. Order it online, Amazon.com. Order a mic. It'll be there in... Two days, USB, plug it into your computer. Get yourself some software to be able to record audio and launch your first podcast. Or over the weekend, type your first five blog posts. Don't post them yet. Just write them all, get them ready to go, and then launch a Facebook page. It costs you nothing. takes you hardly any time at all. You can start now, and you can connect now. There is time in your week to make a phone call to listen to a podcast, to watch a YouTube video, to read a book. Everything you need to get started is already around you. So start doing it. 